up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 hyundai venue courtesy of jack g and Volvo hyundai in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i wanted to hop in the venue today because it is reasonably priced there are plenty of changes for the 2021 model year of course hyundai does give you america's best warranty as well being five years 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, 10 year 100,000 miles on the powertrain, and you actually get three years of complimentary maintenance as well. Hyundai just started doing that this year as well, so plenty of reasons to take a look at this one. So what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it, and as always, let's start with pricing. And so there will be a few different trim levels for the 2021 venue, first one being the SE, starting at $18,750. Then there is the SEL, which is the one we have today, starting at $19,000. $250 and lastly the denim starting at $22,050 and so regardless of trim level that you go with power plan is actually going to be the same on this one powering this little beast is going to be a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder putting out 121 horsepower at 6300 rpm 113 pound feet of torque available at 4500 rpm power sent to the front wheels only and that power is sent to the ground through an IVT no manual option this year just that continuously or intelligent variable transmission. Zero to 60 comes in at approximately 8.6 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 30 in the city, 33 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of acceleration test here in the venue, I did want to mention there are actually some drive modes on this one. They will include normal, sport, and snow, adjusting things like the throttle response, steering sensitivity. And if you were curious about that snow mode, since this is a front wheel drive vehicle, that is important so with the snow mode it actually sends torque between the front wheels depending on which wheel has the most traction this is kind of cool and so a lot of times with other manufacturers when they do offer a snow mode it'll simply just decrease the throttle response and limit the rpms but to have the system actually send torque to the wheel with the most traction that is definitely a pretty advanced pretty nice snow mode in the venue i will say that but having now got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway here and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2021 venue up to speed. All right, a little bit of a rolling start, but let's get it. A little bit of slipping. <laughs> kind of loud. <laughs> Not the quickest thing in the world, but dang, I was kind of loud. <laughs> I won't say that, but it should suffice with merging onto the highway stuff like that. It's definitely not the quickest thing in the world and i think you guys probably knew that off the bat with that zero to 60 time i rambled off at the beginning of the video but it'll do the trick it should do the trick it is a city car more or less so if you're planning on doing mostly city driving it's going to be just fine but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so this one may surprise you maybe not for the se trim because with the se trim you actually get front disc rear drum brakes however if you go with the sel like we have today or the denim you will get four wheel disc brakes and get this 60 to zero stopping distance comes in at 114 feet that is dang impressive. Let me tell you why. Nissan Kicks comes in at 126 feet. Toyota CHR comes in at 119 feet. Usually with larger SUVs, they a lot of times will come in at 130s. So 114 feet, that's dang impressive, like I said. And braking feels perfectly fine. But really, when it comes to stopping power in the venue, it's excellent. I will say that. Then touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're going to get an independent McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, torsion beam rear axle. And to go along with that twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers as far as the ride quality goes you do feel a little bit more of the road than I'm probably used to but this is a smaller SUV so I guess that's pretty much to be expected when it comes to handling it's actually pretty darn good it's kind of fun to throw around the back roads here I gotta say definitely a fun little car to drive when it comes to handling I will say that when it comes to cabin noise not a whole lot of exterior noise is coming into the cabin minus the engine noise that is kind of pronounced in the venue I will say that but other than that I kind of like engine noise it's just my personal preference there but other than that it's perfectly fine but touching on visibility I can see perfectly fine out the back and one of the better ones really in its segment I'll even say with visibility because of its boxier shape really you can see perfectly fine out the back absolutely not gonna have any issues there but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2021 
Hyundai Venue. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2021 Hyundai Venue. Actually a very good looking small SUV in my opinion. That's just my personal preference. But to the sides, projector headlights do come standard on the venue. They do of course come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights actually coming standard with just the denim trim level if you wanted those LEDs. LED headlights then are gonna be optional on the SEL that we have today and the denim, but they do not come standard on either of those trim levels, but they are available if you wanted them. Black front grille is going to come with the SE. However, with the SEL and up, you will find a chrome front grille that we have here today. And of course, with the denim trim level, you will find an exclusive denim exterior color matched up with a white roof. That is gonna be the color contrast that is gonna come with that trim level specifically. But so then making our way to the side of this one, roof rails do come standard, body colored, power adjustable side mirrors standard as well. Heated side mirrors are gonna come with the denim and they will be optional on the SEL if you wanted to go that route. 15 inch alloy wheels are gonna come with the SE and you will get 17 inch alloys with the SEL and denim. And so that's yet another new change for the 2021 venue being previously that bottom trim would have gotten steel wheels with covers. However, all trims now get alloy wheels for the 2021 venue. That might've been one reason if I were looking for a base trim level, I would go with the 2021 over the 2020 personally. And I do also like on this venue, how they use the turd signal light indicators on the actual front fenders, as opposed to the side mirrors. That's yet another distinctive difference between just about every other SUV out there these days. So I thought that was pretty cool too. But so then making our way to the back of this one, you will find a gloss black shark fin antenna up top, just below that rear spoiler just below that rear window wiper when it comes to those taillights there will be led taillights on the denim trim level only that is going to be available as an option for the sel do love the taillight design on the venue i gotta be honest i don't know what it reminds me of maybe like a british look but definitely a very cool taillight design to the venue but just underneath of it all of course you do have a single exhaust outlet carefully tucked away so i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. But now since we are around back of the venue when it comes to opening that rear lift gate it is a manual lift gate for all trim levels so simply just lift up underneath there and you can open that one up there once opened up cargo space comes in at 18.7 cubic feet if that was not enough space there actually is a 60 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down bumping that up to 31.9 cubic feet so decent amount of space i guess you could say for what the venue is then make your way to the rear legroom that comes in at 34.3 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the back there and if anybody right now is looking at that center area with the cup holders that is going to be available as an option for the venue it is easily removable if you did not want that option or you don't have to get it to start with even but it is there and it is available if you wanted it though then make your way to the front seats cloth seating coming with the se and sel trim levels you will get a cloth leatherette combination seating if you were to go with the denim trim level then heated front seats are going to come with the denim trim level only it is going to be optional on the sel and you will get manually adjustable seating for every single trim level but overall i will say it's one of the first things i said to myself when i hopped in the venue although those seating specs don't seem all that impressive the seats actually are very comfortable it's bolstered very well on the sides there and you actually kind of do sink into them so they're plenty comfortable seats i will say that then take a look at the steering wheel it is leather wrapped for the SEL and denim trim levels. Otherwise, you're going to get that urethane steering wheel if you were to go with the SE. Then make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Hyundai logo on the one side and when you flip it around, lock, unlock, and that panic button, of course. But it is a turnkey ignition actually for the SE and SEL trims. You will get a push button start with the denim. That push button start is going to be again optional on the SEL, but we actually do have the turnkey ignition.
ignition. So I'm just gonna simply put my foot on the brake and turn the key here. And so, but then once started up, when it comes to those gauges, I do like how they are illuminated in a cool white bluish type of hue. You do have your tachometer on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a small digital display front and center, which can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there. And it does give you quite a bit of information, I will say, within that small digital display, including things like your outside temperature, how many miles you actually have left until you hit empty. There's your tire pressure information for each individual tire as well. Attention level monitor that is pretty cool it's a safety feature in itself there you can actually display a digital speedometer up there as well if you want there's your average miles per gallon the list really goes on so really what i'm getting at is quite a bit of information there in that digital gauge section but then touching on overall interior quality if you wanted a power sunroof that is going to be available for the sel trim level through a premium package and so all of these things i keep saying available on the sel is an option it basically all comes with that premium package which goes for two thousand three hundred fifty dollars you get a sunroof and a bunch of other stuff as well basically automatic climate control is going to come standard on the sel and denim trims meaning you set a temperature and it is going to adjust itself until it actually gets to that temperature and that's going to be displayed in this cool looking display just in front of the shifter there i liked that also like the little storage area found just above the passenger side glove box having said that is a plastic bottom of that storage area wouldn't mind it if there was a rubberized finish there so things didn't slide around but still like that the storage area is there get a little more storage just in front of the shifter with actually two usb charging ports and a 12 volt power outlet also just behind the shifter that is actually where you're going to find that drive mode button i was telling you guys about earlier you have a couple cup holders and of course a little bit of storage within that center armrest there as well but overall kind of basic when it comes to interior quality very practical though very to the point so I don't mind it for that reason. But then taking a look at the tech display, front and center, you actually get an eight inch color touchscreen display for every single trim level. That's pretty cool. A lot of times you get a smaller screen if you go with the base trim of other manufacturers, but you still get the eight inch if you go with the SE on the venue. So I liked that, but it actually gets better with the tech and Hyundai always does it right when it comes to tech. I will say that Bluetooth and audio streaming, of course, wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. And this one was interesting to me. So the wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay does come standard even on the base trim level of the venue. And this is interesting because a lot of Hyundai's more expensive vehicles, let's say the Hyundai Sonata, doesn't get wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. So I don't know, I found that interesting, but still I love that the venue has that. It's so much better than the cables flying around everywhere, but factory navigation system is going to come with the denim. And of course you can check out your radio information up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, you will find four speakers with the SE, then six speakers if you go with the SEL or denim trim level. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. I know you know we know we were meant for each other and it's fine. Clarity is actually pretty good actually for a six speaker sound system. Not the most bass in the world, but you can pretty much expect that out of six speakers, but Clarity was actually more than I'm used to for a six speaker sound system, at least I will say that. But last thing I wanted to mention on that tech display, at least is when you do put the venue in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera for every trim level across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start on the venue, IIHS top safety pick, which is quite remarkable considering the size of the venue. I will say that front side, side curtain airbags, of course, in the back, you're going to have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks back there as well. Tire pressure monitoring system. That's all pretty much the basic stuff. Where the venue really gets good is the advanced standard safety features, including forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, which is quite brilliant on Hyundai models. I will say that every time I drive a Hyundai, the lane keep assist system always goes above and beyond. Like it's a really good system. I will say that compared to other manufacturers that I've tested driver attention warning, like I was mentioning to you guys, if you wanted a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, simply go with the SEL or denim trim levels. It will come standard on both of those trims. And of course we do have that today. It's gonna to let you know if somebody's in your blind spot and it's gonna flash at you in yellow, essentially so you don't go turning into anybody. But overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the venue, excellent standard safety really for the price point that this thing is at. I love that Android Auto Apple CarPlay is wireless. It's really one of the 
biggest features for me personally, being a car and a tech guy. Good interior quality for this segment. Again, it's pretty basic, but compared to some of the other cars in this segment though, it's really better than them, I will say that. And of course, contributing to its overall great value. Again, you have the best warranty out there. You have three years of free maintenance. We don't have to pay anything for oil changes, filter changes, things like that. Perhaps my only constructive criticism for this price point, I guess you could say, is it's a little bit underpowered, I will say that. So wouldn't have minded if Hyundai added maybe a turbo charge setup, keeping this engine maybe on the bottom trim levels to save on that price point, but maybe offering a higher trim level with an optional turbocharged engine maybe. But that's my constructive criticism. Overall, an extremely good value. And that is about it for this review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.